Oh, you just thought Erica Jane was the only one with money issues. Or maybe you didn't. Yeah. I told you I was going to do some digging because I was so confused at how Dorit can afford all of these designer like Like, y'all know, when Dorit walks in a room, it just vomits designer labels. It's a lot. Like, every time they show her, it is designer head to toe. Granted, and I will say, I do love seeing Dorit walk in because it's like a freaking, like you're looking through a catalog. Like you're watching a runway show interrupting a reality TV show. Because when Dorit walks in, it's like, okay, what's she got on? What's she going to look like today? What's her hair going to look like? What's she bringing us today? Who is she bringing us today? Well, it looks like Dorit and PK better be paying them taxes <laughs> or we won't be seeing these designer labels no more. Like, I, look. For the life of me, I could not understand why the rich folks think they don't have to pay taxes. Don't none of them pay their taxes. They all owe taxes. There's a lot. New girl, Noella, on the Housewives of OC. Oh, just wait for that video, y'all. Brian was friend. OMG. Just that video will be coming up soon, so be sure you subscribe. But y'all. And Lisa Renna. Oh, and taxes and all these lot, Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Okay, let's just start on Dorit. And I will link this article below. It reads, Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, Dorit Kimsley and PK owe $1.3 million in unpaid taxes after reducing a $8 million L.A. mansion amid lawsuits and bankruptcy. <laughs> well... Well, look at here. Y'all, lawsuits, bankruptcies, tax liens, and they're still out here flying private, going on vacations. Oh, we'll get into that. The massive debt comes after the couple recently reduced the price of their $8 million Los Angeles mansion that's on the market by $1.5 million and even changed. Their terms to accept renters in a desperate attempt to sell. Wow. The reality star and British businessman owe an outstanding balance of $635,887.23 to the IRS from a 2018 tax document. Dorit who consistently flaunts her head-to-toe designer clothes, also has an individual tax lien from the state of California for the amount of $90,269.46, which was most recently dated in March of this year. In addition, PK has two solo active liens of his own, including one for the state of California for $293,222.73 from back in 2015. He also still owes $289,423.67 for a federal lien that was most recently dated in October of 2018. Combined, the married couple owe a whopping one point three million eight thousand eight hundred three dollars and nine cents in unpaid taxes according to the multiple documents the sun has confirmed i told y'all don't nobody worked harder than the sun the sun has confirmed with the state and federal tax clerks that all four lanes remain unpaid well meanwhile they still vacationing then privately flying private by the way always the news comes following the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star putting her, what is that, Encino mansion on the market after just one year of living there. In September 2020, Dorit listed the six-bedroom, seven-and-a-half-bath modern farmhouse for $9.5 million. However, after no buyers, the listing price was reduced all the way down to $8 million. Despite briefly taking the home off the market, it was put up for sale once again in April of 2021, just one month later, in what appears to be an attempt to make money off their house quicker, the option to rent the home for $75,000 a month. Whew. 
rather than purchase the estate, was added in May of 2021. Dear God, $75,000 a month? Who is throwing that away? Janelle with um, Sister Wives of her. <laughs> if y'all don't know, you got to watch those videos. I'm telling you, that's something else. But y'all, who is paying $75,000 in rent? The past few seasons of the Bravo series have documented Dorit, PK, and their two kids moving to the family property, which the star bought by herself after her husband's history of lawsuits and bankruptcy. In 2012, Paul, 53, filed for bankruptcy with debts estimated to be as big as $50 million after making a series of investments in the tech, music, and sports worlds, according to Radar. Woo! $50 million. So he files bankruptcy. So they don't pay their bills. They just file bankruptcy. The rich really ain't rich at all. This is what this proves right here. Though his financial downfall came years before he would tie the knot with Dorit, his money woes followed him into his second marriage. In 2018, Dorit and PK were sued by their former business partner, Ryan Dorn, for allegedly owing him $205,000 for his work on her Beverly Beach swimsuit line. By the way, is that still going on? You know, we heard all about that in one or two seasons, but we ain't heard about it at all this season. Am I the only one that just noticed that? Okay, let me know in the comments. A judge ordered Dorit and Ryan to mediation in January of 2019, and the pair worked out their legal matter outside of court, Us Weekly reported. In February 2019, PK was accused of owing $75,000 in gambling debt to a sports betting company in the UK. However, a judge dismissed the lawsuit two months later, according to documents obtained by the blast. I guess he paid that. <laughs> Or he paid the judge. Either way, somebody got paid. You don't just dismiss a, a seven. Uh uh. Just three months later, the couple came under fire once again after a man named Nikos alleged that he loaned PK, who is also a music manager to British pop star Boy George, $1.2 million, but only was paid back $250,000. This guy said he loaned PK $1.2 million, and PK only paid him back $250,000. In the midst of their legal battle with Nikos, a judge froze both Dorit and PK's bank accounts in July of 2019. However, it appeared the group hashed things out as Nikos later dropped the suit in October of 2019. Now, this must be what Dorit has been talking about this season. In a June 2019 episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, alum Camille Grammer shockingly accused Dorit's husband of owing a lot of money to someone very close to her. Do y'all remember that dinner? Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, I do all too well because Dorit went off while Camille just sat there sipping her tea. <laughs> like... That's one thing I was... Camille will spill all the tea. She does not care. No Fs. No Fs given. But look, why are PK and Dorit still spending money? Like, how do they still have money? How, let me know in the comments. Please let me know in the comments. And do these... None of these folks pay their taxes. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all. When I am strike it rich, make it rich, when I work my ass off, and when I get rich... First thing I'm going to do, hire an accountant and say, first thing on the books, be sure my taxes are always paid. <laughs> Lesson one from all these reality stars who don't pay their taxes. Y'all, you got to pay your taxes. It's just the law. And I mean, clearly it's a lot different where these celebrities live. But around here, if you don't pay your taxes, you go to jail. So... Why don't they set an example out of these celebrities? Pay your taxes or go to jail. Shouldn't it be that simple? Shouldn't be just flaunting your designer clothes and your vacations and your living lavish lifestyle in everybody's faces that pay taxes. Yes, girl. 
pay your mother effing taxes. Ugh. Am I the only one that feels salty over this? I'm over here paying taxes for what? While these people just throw in my face about their cars, money, designer clothes, vac- uh-uh. Uh-uh. I mean, this is ridiculous. How are you living in nice houses like this with nice yards and nice pools? You don't pay taxes. Meanwhile, some folks like me over here living in a single wide trailer, but guess what? I pay my taxes. <laughs> I pay my taxes. What Amy say, Amy Slayton, my bills are paid. That's right. But I still always wanted to live in one of these big, bougie houses. Just look. Look at the lights. I don't know about this yard over here, though, to the right. Looks like they need to mow or something. That's probably how it's supposed to look. Nice. Pay your taxes, though. Pay your taxes. <laughs> Because now when I watch next week's episode, I'm going to be side-eyeing the piss out of Dorit. <laughs> Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below on Dorit and PK. Y'all, I always knew there was something sketchy. I like Dorit's style and her fashion. But girl, pay your bills. <laughs> pay your bills. <laughs> Hashtag pay your bills. And speaking of bills, please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so I can continue to pay my bills. Click that little bell to all so your notifications will be turned on every time I upload. You'll be notified. It'll be like, ding, Backwoods Barbie uploaded. I'm just kidding. It, it, it ain't going to say that, but I wish it would. I love you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video, which will be about... The new housewife of OC, Noella, and her unpaid taxes. Bye.